Story today after being denied a delay, attorneys for the Department of Justice were in a federal court this morning to hear why most cases, in most cases, Baltimore wants federal supervision to help reform its police department. Okay, so the public fairness hearing lasted about four hours today and nearly 50 people showed up today to voice their concern or their support over this federally mandated police reform. ABC 2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler was in that courtroom today and is here now to explain. Jamie, this was the final step before Judge James Berdar signs the consent decree, an agreement of court-ordered police reform struck between the Department of Justice and Baltimore City. Earlier this week, the government did ask for that delay by 90 days. That request was denied, clearing the way for this morning's hearing and public comment. But not before DOJ attorneys again asked the court for a delay, saying Attorney General Jeff Sessions has, quote, grave concerns about this particular consent decree. Citing a crime spike in Baltimore and their concerns that this agreement may weaken effective policing, the DOJ wants to review and assess the agreement with the city. Attorneys for the city of Baltimore urged the judge not to delay this process, saying civil rights and effective policing can coexist in this agreement, and the federal court-mandated reforms helps the public build trust with the process. It was a view echoed nearly 50 times by Baltimore citizens stepping up to the microphone. Do not delay. Allow this consent decree to go forward. Please do not delay. Greta Carter Willis was the fifth to speak this morning. She spent her three minutes telling the judge how her son was killed by police in 2006 and that this department and this city need this reform. Hers was emotional testimony, one of three mothers who lost sons to police shootings, but words she hopes helps convince a now wavering Justice Department. My message for the DOJ, you have signed this decree. We are holding you accountable. You're the ones that came in. You found these inconsistencies within this department, and you must stand to your word that you're going to allow it to go forward. Because she and others say it needs to move forward, if anything, for the next generation who also braved the weather today to come downtown, stepping before the judge to voice their support for reform. I came here today to speak, to give a voice to the voiceless. Which, and I am part of that because that's people, it's not, it's not, it doesn't get the exposure that it needs. But today it did on the record and in front of a federal judge, nearly four hours of testimony, mostly in favor of federally mandated police reform. Can you comment at all on uh, no, I refer you to Mr. Oblake here. Justice Department attorneys would not field questions on their way out of court today, but interim Baltimore City Solicitor David Ralph said the public's comments today are an important part of this process. Their thoughts and, and concerns were important to the development of the consent decree, and I think the judge has that information, and we will continue to consider that in terms of our policies and practices going forward. Now, in all, 49 people signed up to speak today. About 60 others submitted written statements to the court. The Justice Department again asked for at least a 30-day delay this time to review and assess the agreement. Right now, this decision is squarely in the hands of the judge, whose signature is now required to move this consent decree forward.